Finishing out the weekend here on Chair Shot Reality. Of course, we encourage you to engage with us every single day on social media. We're on Twitter, Facebook, as well as Instagram. And guys, let's finish it off with uh, maybe a surprise match, just considering all the rumors and potential that we had the last few weeks, and that is WrestleMania, one of the three main events, Brock Lesnar up against Dean Ambrose. Are we all right with this? Brian? Considering <laughs> their options and what they could do, the only other thing I could see would be have Bray Wyatt against Brock Lesnar uh, for all the injuries they have with guys out right now and uh, just the uncertainty of what WrestleMania could be. We talked about it. Things have changed. Seth Rollins, John Cena, Randy Orton. But because of that, this is one of the only two things they really could do. It would be Brock and Dean or Brock and Bray. And I'm all right with it just because it's a street fight. If it weren't a street fight and it was a straight-up match, then I'd have problems. But this gimmick gives it some potential. It does give it potential. I, I, when I first heard about the plans, and then obviously on Monday night it was confirmed, I don't want to judge it, so I'm going to implement the Josh system the next five weeks, four weeks of program. You guys ready for this? You know, because it's two completely polar opposites. You have Brock Lesnar, a 300-pound fighter, and Dean Ambrose, who, like you said last week, looks like a gas station attendant, right? So I'm a gas do, station attendant that I like, mind you. I mean, I like him too, yeah, like but him. against Brock Lesnar, come on. Anyway, <laughs> Jay, judge objectively. Oh, observe the storyline, because you're going to observe the next five oh, weeks, four weeks. going to spell out Josh, isn't it? Get it? it? <laughs> yeah, it's the Josh system. <laughs> oh is ob <laughs> He obviously doesn't believe in it if he needed to write it down. <laughs> I, just, I just came up with it five minutes ago. Oh, objective. <laughs> oh, that was actually pretty good. Observe the storyline. I want to observe what they're going to do the next four weeks to make Dean Ambrose believable what's and that's S? the biggest what's, what's thing S? do you guys S? know what s is what's that's gonna be you're gonna ruin the whole dentist i need a flow here all right go ahead go ahead. Like a bag. go ahead s set expectations what are we going to expect at wrestlemania are we going to expect a street fight bloody where brock lesnar dominates and dean ambrose just pulls out a, a w out of nowhere mm, that's going to be interesting and then h like every wrestling fan who's uh you know very pessimistic Hope for the best. I'm hoping for the best to execute this at WrestleMania, but I just don't see it happening. That, you know, I'm very, I'm very optimistic, but I'm even more pessimistic now I've because got... I do think Brock Lesnar and Dean Ambrose is a ridiculous mismatch. Yes, we had Brock and CM Punk, right? We had Brock and CM Punk at SummerSlam, but at the same time, it was a little bit of a different situation. Punk's a different competitor than Dean Ambrose. Wow. So it's no fair because you have the shortest name of all of us. But so. the acronym could be a lot easier. <laughs> J, Jabroni, O, you didn't know, S, suck it, and H, in honor of Charles Wright, jump on the ho train. He's trying too hard. Trying too hard? Guys, How trying hard was that? Hard. That was simple. It, it is As he stutters it at does the come end, down. Like some jamoke. It, <laughs> such a jamoke. Go ahead. It does come down to the fact that this is uh, no rules because that is the only way this works. You, yeah, any other way, when you, put, when you put rules on this, there's just, there should be no contest at all. You know, even when they did straight up Seth Rollins versus Brock Lesnar back in the summer, which was cut off pretty quickly uh, with The Undertaker re-emerging, even that match was quick. It was a lot of Rollins athleticism, you know, him, him landing on his feet from, from German suplexes. Obviously, Dean Ambrose doesn't have that kind of move set. Dean Ambrose, it does try to be much more of a rough and tumble but, fighter, but yeah, for, so for I him agree. to do it up against Brock Lesnar, they have to break the rules. It needs to be chair shot, chair shot, chair shot, chair shot, yeah. weapon. Uh, but here's the thing, it needs like, to be low blow. Thing, though, it needs to be... But here's the thing with Dean Ambrose, though. Dean Ambrose can do all this cheap shot, can do all this stuff, but is that really going to make the fans believe for the next four weeks that he can beat Brock Lesnar? Uh, you know, well, like, seriously. Yes, I, like, you I, have if, to if suspend you, so much belief. Well, if you show him nonstop using by any means necessary, like, I think one of the, a great thing we need to see, uh, it needs to be eye for an eye. We need to see at some point Dean Ambrose attack Brock Lesnar arriving to the building. You know that you know we need we need to, everything needs to be tit for tat right now to show that Dean Ambrose can be on the same level. He's smaller, but we, that's the only way to, to to get rid of the 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 laughable. The only that thing that Dean Ambrose with. has, he actually is relatively tall for how skinny he is. You know what I mean? Like he actually is like six two six three. So it's not like a Daniel Bryan versus Brock Lesnar. Even though I think people wanted to see that, but the size differential was just massive there. I can already hear it now. Dean Ambrose is going to need to throw everything at Brock, including the kitchen sink, and yeah. out of nowhere there will be a kitchen sink ringside. Here. He's going to yeah. have to come with ambulances and, you know, dumpsters and do things with it. What was the match with Mick Foley and Terry Funk when they did the dumpster thing? They put him in the dumpster and, and threw they pinned them off him the in the I believe they yeah. called that a dumpster match. Yeah. Yeah. Well, whatever. What? <laughs> no, he put... Um, uh, you guys are the correct terminology? At the end of the day, you better do everything you can to have a guy who's half the size of Brock Lesnar Let me ask you have a chance to beat Brock Lesnar. We have four weeks to decide, and obviously it's going to change. Does Dean Ambrose win? It's not out of the question. I don't uh, think he does, but it's not out of the question. You know, we'll get to the Wrestle Rumble picks in weeks, but I'll say this: it's, it's again associate. It's, it's um, you know, 
uh, credibility by association. The fact we know Dean Ambrose, obviously, it's not going to be a quick squash match. Dean Ambrose is going to continue to laugh and ask for more. He's, hopefully, he's going to grab some weapons and going to deliver the best he can to Brock Lesnar. So, if Dean Ambrose does have a fight, it does does put up a fight, and this does get bloody and violent. At the end of the day, I don't see any way that Dean Ambrose comes out of this worse. I, I, he's gonna sure. he's gonna elevate sure. himself, being at WrestleMania and part of one of the three main events. Granted, it's the third ranked out of the three main events, but still, anytime you can share a WrestleMania ring with Brock Lesnar yeah. and then go that violent, which is gonna be memorable, that's gonna up his profile. But do you know what terrifies me the most about this match and the lead up to this match? If again Brock is on and they're attacking each other, that somehow by accident Brock will literally injure Dean Ambrose. The last thing. WWE needs right now is another injury, especially to someone in a match that's already been confirmed for WrestleMania. Brock or Bray or Brock or Dean, which one interested you more? Because I say Brock and Bray just because Bray, we've never yeah. seen a Bray Wa or we've never seen a Brock Lesnar storyline so unique and creative. He's always he's always had feuds with these guys who can fight. You know, he hasn't had a mental game to really overcome. You know, I'll actually say I'll actually say Brock and, and Ambrose uh, for kind of two reasons. One being that again. Bray is almost a lot more smoke and mirrors. Not that he can't get physical, but he's a lot more smoke and mirrors where, where again, Ambrose does try to present the, the rough, the I'm, I'm gritty, I'm, I'm a brawler. The other reason being, my worry was if we did the Wyatt, Bray Wyatt and Brock Lesnar, was that the rest of the Wyatts were going to get dismantled, further making them look like Jamokes or Jabronis or whatever the J word is, Justins. So I'm going to say, you. That's you. I'm going to say, I'm going to go with Ambrose Brock. It, I'm actually going to. At least it wasn't Kevin Owens. Why do you say that? <laughs> because. He's a prize Dean Ambrose fighter. is more realistic. He's a prize realistic. fighter, Maggle. Maggle. He's a prize Ambrose fighter. Is more realistic Come on, Maggle. Maggle. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be four weeks of Maggle. they really have to not just say Bray, or Dean Ambrose once more, once more. He actually has to get the upper hand more than half of the time here for me to really buy it. Live tweeting during Monday Night Raw every single Monday. We are doing it. Make sure you follow at Josh Eisenberg4. Don't confuse by the other three. At Brian Gulch, at Justin Labar. We'll see you next week on CSR.